Oh Lord have mercy. All right guys, what's up was glorious. As you guys can see, it's your host with the most, Paul Can2, live and direct outside of a hot steaming pile of garbage yeah. with the Trash Chronicles episode two. So as per request, you guys love their last like garbage video. So today I'm out here live on the street Kona in front of a big pile of trash. Mm. So let's dig in and see if I can find anything to reuse, recycle, and to make my own today. Man, there's this neighborhood watch ass motherfucker who keeps walking around my car because I'm just sitting here recording about to go in. All right, let's get it. All right, guys, check this out. Approaching garbage pile one. What on earth, bruh? First of all, they got this like radio flyer looking tricycle. Nice. nice. They have a car seat, a mini slide, scooters, some T-ball. It appears to be speakers. What the heck, bro? They got... <laughs> I don't know what this is, a damn body bag for the corpses. They have a rug. I love rugs. But guys, they just have hella toys. This is a shame. Excuse me. Oh wait, is this talking to me? Bro, something in this garbage is talking to me. But yeah, these people are getting rid of all this, throwing it out. And you know what? I don't have any use for it, but I'm gonna take this to the thrift store, bro like because this is just ridiculous like why are they throwing out all this stuff they could reuse and recycle it's uh it's pretty crazy so yeah i mean i'm just gonna do the world a justice one time for the one time i don't have any children but i just don't think someone should be throwing all this out like that's crazy bruh guys look at this bro i kid you guys not they just have bags of shoes and check these out they got some silver Nike shocks. Hold on, man. Look at these that they're just throwing away in the trash. These are size 11. These are actually kind of gangster. I want to see if I can clean them up, if they'll look good. Um, and then I'll just pass them on to you guys. What the? Bro, this shit is stupid. Stupid. What else they got in here, bro? Where the boots at? They got some Adidas. These are... <laughs> These are ugly, bro, but it's crazy that he's throwing this out. Like, people be tweaking, bro. Like, why me? Why me, bro? Like, damn. I almost want to haul all this and just donate it because they're, they're high. Bro, would you look at that? You got some stuff for the crib, too. Dude, these are really cool little glass, um, I don't even know, containers. <laughs> they got measurements on the side of them. But, yeah, I can use these to propagate plants or just to grow plants out of. Someone asked if you need glass to grow plants. Definitely not. You can put them in like any material. But uh, these are nice. And just look at that. You can have a picnic on the lid, bro. <laughs> Yo, check this out, bro. <laughs> this is crazy. Were they some drug dealers? They got this book, right? I love gold. But you open it, and this thing is just full of like jewelry, bro. Like jewelry and then pill containers with earrings. So, uh, yeah, I mean, dude, there's some dope rings in here. What the heck? But <laughs> I like this like drug dealer concealed like money book. All right, we'll take it. We'll see if we keep what we get rid of, bro. All right, guys, so <laughs> leaving the first trash pile of the day, and let's just say it hit, I almost attempted to just take all their bags of trash to my crib and then just go through everything and see what I can find. But uh, I'm gonna hold off on that for now. But guys, it's just ridiculous to me that someone would throw out all of that stuff. Like, does no one care that someone else could reuse that? I don't know, people are driving by looking at me. I don't give a damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is my war, bro. You know what I'm saying? I fight for this trash, man. I fight for giving everything a second chance in life except cheating ass bitches. <laughs> All right. Dude, I always feel so creepy approaching the trash piles with this camera. Bro, they're getting rid of hella stuff too. Oh, that stuff looks rotted. That's nasty. Damn. Hey, that actually is kind of a cool hamper. Hella rustic. What else we got? Just random metal lights. Uh, yeah, this looks like straight hot steaming garbage. So I'm gonna pass on this, but 
I did just pass up, damn, that's a dope classic car. I did just pass up um, a couple of cool things I wanted to grab, but there was a Range Rover like riding my ass. So if I would have braked to pull over, they would have slammed in the back of me. So it is what it is. I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm driving at like pedophile speeds. All right, don't hit my door off, dude. I'm closing it, I'm closing it. They're actually way closer. This camera's wide angle, bro. So don't judge me for freaking out about this person almost hitting my door and uh, taking one of my arms with it. All right, all right, guys. I'm just innocently walking down the street. Um, I saw this like alcoholic beverage box. I think it's made of wood and it's just a cool box. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm going to use it. And I uh, was this far from the house Look at that. That's a pretty that's a pretty cool box. Like look at the look at the joint joinery, bro. Is that is that a puzzle? Bro, a kid could have a ball with this. But yeah, I'm pretty far away from that pile because again, cars just be riding your ass on this street. Like check out this smooth move right here, guys. Like look at this. I had these just rolling around the car. And yeah, I took everything else out and put it in my uh, garage just because I was so close to my house. But look at that, man. Convenient storage made easy with the Icardi box. I think it's missing a B or else it'd be Bacardi. Yeah, guys, jackpot. Jackpot. These people are throwing out this giant ass TV, bro. Oh like, God. I'm tempted to see if this works. I don't even know. This, like, chair. And then look at this. This is, I think, a hat rack, but I'm going to hang plants from this. Bro, it's Liddy. I, I mean, we'll see. It is kind of weird they'd be throwing away a whole TV. But these people out here just, yeah, these people expendable income as fuck, bro. Like, like what's up with it, bro? Let's, you know what? We gonna try it. We gonna, I mean, it ain't got no wires, but I could probably find something. I actually think I have one of these spare wires, bro. All right, let's get it. Is it heavy? Hell no, shit, light as hell. And you know I'm slow. Ah, I'm so nervous. Dude, what the heck, man? All right, I'm very curious to see if that TV is gonna work. I'm, I'm not, uh, I mean, I am excited, but I'm not quite sure it will work. I don't necessarily need another TV, but if it does work and that was just free, it's like, bro, what are you doing? But uh, the plan stand definitely will go to instant use, even though I think it's for hats. But man, dude, we're just hitting. I've been doing this for maybe 30 minutes. Oh, these are like made of metal, I think. Oh, I really like the white this. one, yeah. Bro. Come on, daddy. Y'all know what time it is. Paw playing two in the building. Uh, this one got a crack in it, but it's still together, so I'm gonna get at. Dude, I got no shame. There's a pedestrian pulling up on the sidewalk. But look at this clean rug. I mean, it looks clean. It might have a hidden stain, but the pattern is dope, bro. That Carolina powder blue mosaic designs. That shit looking like a swimming pool tile. You could definitely fix that. You think I could fix that? I think you could fix that. Dang, this person is throwing out a whole bench. What? Oh, it's kind of crooked, but you um, can fix it. Uh, you can try. Uh, I want a bench. I want a bench so bad in the backyard. Uh, maybe I could. I don't know how much. All I really need are bolts. I'm gonna, we have to empty the car and then I'll come back okay. and and see about getting it. And we can make it a pretty color like blue. Give a fuck if you like it, buddy. Don't respect the script. You're a rata, Mr. Bench. You're getting all the trash bags? Yeah. What is in there? That's what I'm gonna find out. All right guys, so we have the three trash bags to dive into, but obviously something that I wanna see first and foremost is if that TV works. So I just found one of those AV connections and let's go ahead and plug in this dusty boy and see what's good with it. Uh oh, it's blinking. Come on bro. Work for me, Daddy. I mean, it has a red light on unless the screen is just broken. Yeah, it's a power button. Work. All right, guys. So TV, big letdown. Whatever. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get into these mystery trash on bag hangs. <laughs> bro, 
was a ridiculous concept, dude. All right, let's see what's inside. How did they even fit this in here? Ooh, a nice ladder. Oh shit, I would die on that. Wow, then look at this. You have the London Fog. Wow, dark mocha brown. <laughs> Suitcase. Perfect. Perfect. Oh shit. Look what's in there. I don't know what the fuck this stuff is. Hold on. Cleveland Browns. Ooh. And Browns Nation. All right. So we're gonna wash it, restore it, and, and then sell it. <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> now we're getting into the shoe bag, all right? So uh, Tiger Woods, look at these, dude. You got beautiful Nike golf shoes. Whoa. Tiger Woods swag, brothers. Oh, look at this. Wow, a nice little blue onesie? Perfect! Wow! And then you guys briefly saw these. Look at that. Ed Hardy thongs for men. Oh my god! Can't wait to squeeze my toes in between this. Holy hell, it's, it's designer though. Wow! It's a boot, but also a purse. Handbag, boot bag. Ooh! Light switch covers. Very rare. Oh, dead stock? Hold on, man. You guys gotta take a look at this. Brand new. Might actually use these. Never. Look at these guys. A bunch of little dresser balls. Ooh! <laughs> we found cloud goggles for the ultra wide head. Hold on. Do not put that. Ew. I'm the Swag. 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 Oh, shit. All right, guys, I've been waiting to find drug paraphernalia. <laughs> this is crazy. Were they some drug dealers? And, oh my lord, oh my god. Look at these. I mean, these these are sealed, but hey, you got a heroin user right here, bro. So you have, oh man, I almost don't want to even look through this. I'm afraid of getting stabbed by a needle. Bro, this is just a bag full of dead stock syringes. So, if you guys need some, let me know. All right, so the last bit of stuff we're gonna go through real quick are gonna be all these toys. And already, bro, I found a 1988 Ninja Turtle. This dude is cool, I'm gonna keep him. Uh, we're just gonna go through. Yeah, he's missing a part of it. Homeboy uh, lost it in the Turtle Wars. Uh, shout out Shredder. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go through this, see what my girl's gonna take for her school, for her children, there are a lot of books, and then see if there's anything worth mentioning as well. I think this is the guy from uh... Peter Pan. And this is the Peter Pan dude? He looks like the, the guy from Robin Hood, but also he looks like Robin the dude... Hood. He looks like the dude when is Tiana being the princess, the princess and the frog ass motherfucker. They got my guy Young Nemo. Ooh! Swagged out Batman? What's up? I ain't know Iron Man had it like this, bro. Damn. Hey, this minion actually goes pretty hard, bro. This dude is huge and high quality. Yeah, they're And they're in good condition, too. Oh, look at this. They got the etch a sketch as well in there. My brethren, we're going to put in work. Look at this. I thought he lost it. I thought he lost it in the Turtle Wars. Heck no, bro. I need you to pop back in there, though. 1988 Ninja Turtle toy. Probably one of the coolest things that I dug out of the trash, man. Super sick. All right, guys. So, real quick, we're going to bust in the treasure box of jewelry. All right, what's the cool stuff that you've found in here? Oh, yeah. I love this gaudy ass ring. Dude, I love, I love gold. gold. Look at this, like, Christmas ornament earring. See, I love these because I got hella ear piercings. Sus, maybe, don't judge me. So yeah, I like having one-on-one, -on -one, so I don't necessarily need the pair. Oh, that feather one goes hard, bruh. You too. I think this is a legit class ring. It feels really good. So uh, yeah, whoops. All right guys, so this is everything that my girl liked um, that she's keeping. Now these class rings, it says are from 1968. I don't know though, because there's like two of these unless this was like a couple or something not exactly sure or if it's just some random like costume jewelry i also like this little angel blowing a horn you already know thriftheavenvintage.com uh this feather earring and this little ball dude and then this one and it looks like gatorade 
Gatorade. You don't mind if I take a sip, right? Go ahead. And then just let the jewelry soak for 10 minutes and hope that it's not fake. So now you're testing it for authenticity? Exactly. So how did everything turn out? It really didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. Well, at least we know for a fact it's clean though. Yeah. And that's ultimately what matters. Dude, there's some banging pieces of jewelry in that box though. Good God, my guys. All right, so in the heat of the moment, just finding and digging through all the trash, I forgot to do a conclusion, but thus, here we are, man. So the ring my girl had on was actually 18 karat gold, and it was found in the jewelry book of the drug dealers. You feel me? So that was an absolute crazy find. The Nike shocks I cleaned up, and those were worth about 85 bucks. Now I'm gonna sell them for a steal on my website. Link in the video description. You guys already know it's a great way to support, so I appreciate everybody who goes on my website and grabs some gear. And then I donated a ton of adult shoes, a ton of kids' Crocs. They were like brand new kids' toys. And by no means am I a saint or a god, thrift god, actually, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I am. But by no means am I like some morally high standing citizen. I have many flaws, but bro, when I just see trash, I'm just like, someone definitely could use a lot of the stuff that was being thrown away. So yeah, man, get out there, sift and dig in the thrifts, the state sales trash, get it how you live. And until next time, man, live the dream, eat that ice cream. Please drop a like, please drop a comment. I love reading them. Subscribe, and until next time, I'm locked, I'm loaded, and I'm out. Killing me songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get